Gorilla Tag just had a giant update, and with it came a potential revamp. Yeah, you heard me right. The next update is going to be a new revamp, and we don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm going to show you it right now. Where did you come from? Anyways, let's go see what I mean by that. So to start everything off, we got a new message of the day that says, A collapse in clouds has left the entrance blocked. Please be patient as the monkeys work to clear the debris. So from the first two sentences, you can realize that clouds has been blocked off. And that's all of the information we're going to need because um, that's this video. So once you make it to clouds, you'll notice that um, everything has just been demolished. It's a bunch of debris, some pretty leaves, did I just rhyme? And you can no longer go up to your favorite place anymore because it's completely blocked off. So as you can see, it looks like pieces of a house or like pieces of clouds got broken and thrown down. As you can see, there's a tornado. I would think that this would be the view of the upper surface. So before this update happened, if you were up in clouds, you would have seen this basically. This is what you would have seen. Um, a tornado wrecked clouds up there it was completely destroyed by a tornado so this is kind of the plot slash storyline of how clouds came to be broken like this and then that's just the last remaining tree getting completely broken and i'm assuming that's the giant tree up there now i'm hoping that it's not going to be just a revamp of clouds i'm hoping that we finally see the space map now here's why i think it'll be here if i can find the comment that someone commented on my video from i think that's yesterday now they said that the rotating map will probably almost never have the space map and the reason is because this the rotating map is made mainly used for maps that Gorilla Tag put half the effort into and just thought it'd be a cool addition to the game, as well as saving storage space. Now, each game has its own amount of storage space that you begin with and that you end with. You cannot have unlimited storage space in your game, so you have to remove stuff if you want to add stuff every update. And in the new rotating map revamp, I guess you could call it, we got a really cool, well, I don't know what you want to call it, but we got a new map and it's fun to play around in. But as you can see, we actually got Clouds Houses. If you never went to Clouds, they had little village houses like this, but these are just plus size versions. The ones in clouds were only about two gorillas wide and three gorillas in length and these ones are like 10 gorillas so they're a lot bigger i don't know i don't think we change size but this map is giant they also added a new texture in this update which i think is pretty cool it's a very copper looking uh texture like very shiny vibrant <gasps> it looks like i have ears on my head that's weird so it is a challenge to get up and if you manage to do it you are on top of the world like i mentioned these maps are not put 100 percent effort into they aren't like the most in-depth maps nor do they have the best mechanics they're just here to enter entertain us while they do the giant game updates, forest revamps, cave revamps, and now the new clouds revamp. Now when I say clouds revamp, I don't mean that clouds is going to stay, it might just be a new map. Hopefully we don't see clouds again, that map was pretty bad guys, I don't know if you agree with me, but I'm hoping that they actually use this time wisely, and they build a space map. It would make perfect sense, clouds already had kind of a zero gravity feel, because every time you moved, it was like two times speed compared to normal movement on the normal maps in Gorilla Tag. They could just change that a little bit, and it would go a far way, so you could go up there and you'd be teleported to the moon or I guess to Mars and there'd be like a lunar colony hop around you could get a spacesuit cosmetic they could have a whole giant update based off of just the clouds revamp and I think they will do just that for time predicament I don't know when it's going to be it'll most likely be in these next four weeks Gorilla Tag usually likes to leave two weeks at least between their updates <laughs> or look at his look at his ears bouncing when I when I run <laughs> and this update is not going to be any different they'll have to have time to work on this update to code the map to make it look nice to texturize it as you can see there's a new texture in this map so they'll definitely be adding new textures to the clouds map along with probably new cosmetics and probably new mechanics so we'll have to give them time for that but what i will tell you is it's gonna happen before june they're gonna have to have an update before june comes out so they can have like an official summer update with summer flashback summer cosmetics and hopefully a new um, space map that'd be pretty cool guys now as you know from my main videos basement is usually a primary research assistant in my videos there's usually posters down here that signify what the next update is going to be or as you can see there's a poster that's a butterfly the butterfly is became true but they haven't changed this mini map and that's fine and there's also a goldfish one I, I think that signifies like the mini map up there now i hope that they use this to put new space posters there was old space posters if you go back and watch my older videos there were space posters down here and we didn't actually get to see space update but i hope that when posters come down here that means the next update is going to be that so if we start to see space posters down here just know that there will be a space update i think it's pretty likely now just because of how much girl tech's been teasing it it would make sense if you had to travel upwards to go to space because that's how you get to space in the first place. Why are you- what are you doing, bro? He likes to just come off my shoulder. I don't know why. Do you guys like him? I don't know what to call him. Barry the Bunny? New Tour Jr.? If you don't actually leave city, you can actually see what, um, clouds looks like without the debris, and it looks the exact same. Once you enter it, what happens is it spawns in again. So, as you can see, the debris spawns back in, but as soon as I leave this third floor, it spawns back out. So I would say we have a very, very good chance to see space map. Wouldn't you like to see that? But, weirdly enough, another thing that kind of hints towards space if you really want to go that far stretched is that the clouds have been pushed down and in space there are no clouds there is no oxygen
region, so that would make sense if the clouds got pushed down, and up there it's just a big blanket of blackness, stars, and galaxies. And who knows, maybe I, all these predicaments will be right, maybe they'll be wrong, but obviously I'd like to see it all happen. Join the Discord to take a part in giving me video ideas, there's also a game giveaway going on up there, and we just do really fun memes, there's fan art, there's a bunch of stuff that you can get involved in, so join the Discord, and it's free. This potential new update, I think it's gonna be an actual banger, but we have to wait a couple of weeks, so. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video on screen right now, so click on it.